Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about The Ways We Lie, written by Stephanie Erickson. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, this work by Stephanie Erickson is very interesting. Um, she really breaks down um, the different types of lies that exist within the world. Now, you know, pretty much if you ask anybody, you ask them what a lie is, it's pretty much when you're not telling the truth. But the thing is, like, the way that Stephanie Erickson talks about lies within this essay, um, it's very interesting, it's very complex, and there's just there's much more to lies um, than what you think. One of the lies that Stephanie Erickson talks about is how, let's say you have a sister, and she... Um, went to work dressed in a way that's not really that great and then she asked you you know do i look nice now you're going to take one look at her and you know you might not tell her the whole truth because you don't want to hurt her feelings right um so stephanie erickson she talks about those types of lies lies where you know we don't want to be too honest because we feel like we're protecting people's feelings but the thing is like she asks us to think about that because are we really protecting their feelings or our own um I guess feelings because the thing is like when you see a person they're wearing uh, clothes that that maybe the, the clothes is not that pretty or maybe you you know you don't like their job or maybe you don't like something about them but you never say anything about it um, and when they ask you about it you don't tell them the truth because you don't want to hurt to hurt their feelings um, now I mean you might be a good person for not hurting that person's feelings but at the same time now that person who's dressed badly is gonna go out on the street and other people are going to see whatever they're wearing and judge them and kind of, um, in of a way, laugh at them um, when you could have stopped it by telling them whatever they're wearing doesn't look good. Um, so lies like that, they're very complex. and It's not just a one and done type of thing. Um, they, they have consequences. Um, so she goes into a lot of different types of lies within this essay. One of the lies that she goes into, um, it, it, this one is very interesting. It's, you know, when you, for example, let's say you have a toddler, right? If you have a toddler, if you're a mother or a parent and your toddler, um, says that he or she is afraid of the dark and, um, you know, you tell the toddler, no, you're not afraid of the dark. No, there's nothing wrong with the dark. You've never been afraid of the dark. Stop saying you're afraid of the dark. Now, when you tell a child that, it is a lie because you're telling that child to neglect his or her own feelings for what you're telling them. So if I'm five years old and my mom tells me, you know, I'm not afraid of the dark when I know I'm afraid of the dark, you're kind of telling me to not believe my own emotions. So you're telling me to portray my own feelings and my own thoughts about the world around me. Um, the same way Stephanie Erickson says, like, let's say there's a neighbor and you say you don't like the neighbor. The child says that, you know, mom, I don't like that neighbor. And then the mom says, yeah, of course you like that neighbor. So, you know, it's the type of lie where from from your upbringing, you're kind of made to believe in things that you don't believe in and things that um, you don't trust in because your parents tell you to kind of like root against your own feelings and your own gut emotions. Um, and there's different types of lies. She goes into lies of um, of not telling people enough of the facts. So you'll tell some of the fact like you um, like omission where you're, you're going to tell them some of the facts, but not all of the facts um, and how damaging that can be. Um, she kind of tells a well, for me, she kind of tells a funny joke throughout this essay. Stephanie Erickson says that um, she tried to be honest uh, for a week, like totally and, and completely honest with people. And her boss kind of like said, why are you showing up late? And she answered her honestly and just said that I really didn't want to get up to come to work today. I really don't want to work here. And she lost her job because of that. So a lot of times we hold truth from people because we don't want to hurt their feelings, uh, because, you know, we don't really want to be brutally honest, um, especially in relationships. Honesty is the best policy. Yes. But at the same time, um, it's good to preserve people's feelings sometimes because when you're brutally honest with people, um, you know, you're going to focus on the worst parts of them rather than uh, the good parts of them. And when you keep telling somebody over and over that you don't like a certain part of them, you know, it reflects on their personality. Um, so Stephanie Erickson in writing this essay, she doesn't say that, you know, we're going to 
completely get rid of lies. Like even white lies are lies. Even let's say you you plan a um, a birthday party for someone, right? Let's say it's a surprise party and you tell them enough lies so that they don't think it's a surprise party so that you can surprise them. Um, that's a lie. You're lying to that person. And I know we call that in the society, we call that a white lie. A white lie is still a lie. Um, so lies are, they can be damaging. Yes, even white lies are lies and they can hurt people. Um, but the thing is like, in the same, in the same way, if, you know, you can't be brutally honest either because if every single person in the world was brutally honest nothing would ever get done and everybody would be at each other's throats because you know you would tell your your sister your your dad your mother that they never dressed well or you know maybe you don't like something about them and you tell them in the most brutally uh, fashion out there and if we're brutally honest with people, if we tell them exactly what we think of them 24-7, I guarantee you probably will not have any friends. Like, if your friend whines a lot, but you want to be friends with them, you can't literally tell them 24-7 that they're whiny and that, you know, you, you just hate when they whine. And then, I mean, whenever that person wants to talk to you, he or she's not going to feel like she wants to talk to you because, I mean, you don't like that they, they're, they're, they're whiny. So... You know, lying is something that is, it is bad. Um, there's a lot that goes into it. It's very complex. One thing that you learn from this um, essay by Stephanie Erickson is that it, it is very complex and there's a lot that goes into it. But she asks us before we lie to really think about what we're doing and how it can hurt others and how we can prevent hurting others by what we tell them. So this essay is very interesting. I think it's very complex. She gives examples. She actually categorizes. And if we're talking about the structure of the essay, how it's how it works, she actually categorizes the different types of lies and, and how they're done. Um, you know, sometimes when... Um, you know, all the type types of lies that exist out there. She gives an example of um, how the Catholic Church protects um, certain priests that violate children and that because of the fact that they keep protecting them, they are lying to the public because they keep moving the, these priests around and lying to the public that they're better and that they won't do it again, but they do, do it again and more kids get hurt. Um, so... Yes, it can go from white lie to something that's very dark. Um, and it can go from something that's like a surprise party to something that hurts a lot of people. Um, so, you know, Stephanie, um, she really asks us, uh, Stephanie Erickson definitely asks us to really think about what we say and what we do um, and how we can be better. But she also recognizes that you can't, we can't really entirely get rid of lies in all of their f forms i mean i mean we still need surprise parties so i guess we, we kind of have to keep the white lie around um in terms of analysis in terms of the deeper meaning within this essay um it's just you have to really think of how complex um lies are and sometimes they're not even outright lies i mean okay look at a legal contract for example the fact that a lot of contracts Certain things are in big print and certain things are very clear and then other things are in small print. So why um, why are certain things large and certain things small? It's like they're trying to keep something away from you. Um, when you're watching a commercial, um, they'll, whenever they want you to buy something, they'll say it very clear. They'll, they'll have catchy jingles. They'll have catchy songs and you know, the advertisement will be crisp and clean and, and wonderful. But whenever it comes to the legal issues or to the damages or anything that might harm you anyway, they speed up the narrator's voice in the commercial. He speaks extremely fast. The words go by really fast, really quickly. No music, no jingle. It's like something that goes by like the five seconds that's left of, of the ad where they tell you all the side effects and that, you know. Um, it, honestly, when you really look at commercials... Um, it'll probably be something about a medicine, like a, a, um, a medicine that's going to change your life. But in the last 10 seconds of the commercial, um, a bunch of words will come flying at you and the narrator will speak really fast and tell and say something. The side effects include hair loss, explosive diarrhea, um, um, I don't know, uh, spontaneous explosions, you know, it could go crazy. And why do commercials do that? 
um, it, it's kind of a it's kind of a lie because they they are telling you the benefits, but at the same time they're not telling you the whole truth of what can happen with this medicine because they treat the side they tell you like the side effects the side effects are like no big deal, but they are. Um, so it's kind of like they're keeping some of the truth away from you, and that's a lie right there. Um, another common lie that exists in our world and that makes the world really complex in terms of lying is that um, they'll tell you that it's only it's only two thousand dollars, or you go and and to a store and they'll say this dress it's only it's only five hundred eighty dollars, it's it's only nine hundred eighty dollars, something like that. So they keep telling you that it's kind of like they're telling you that it's so cheap. It's it's only two thousand dollars. It's so cheap, but it's not cheap. The fact that they're saying it's only it's kind of like it's, they're trying to make you think that it's not that that pricey when it is. So advertising is lying to a lot of times, and there's a lot of different lies that exist out there. And Stephanie Erickson, she even tells us this that she in the essay, even though that she categorizes and creates a list of different types of lies, she says it's that's not all the lies that exist in the world. There's so many out there that um, it's hard to count. It's really hard to count. Um, and I mean, anything that holds any truth, any truth from you is a lie. And they're everywhere in our society. So that's my summary of this essay. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in my next video.